We are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dueling Makers. Woo Our first episode of Dueling Makers. Um, we have today uh, myself. My name is Barb, uh, Barb Norin. I am director of programs at Rediscover Center. And uh, I've been there for about six years and I like making all kinds of stuff. I like sewing, I like woodworking, I like 3D printing and electronics and uh, making stuff out of cardboard, which is gonna be a whole lot of what we're doing today. You wanna introduce yourself, Jenna? Yeah, so my name is Jenna Irvin. I am the lead tinker facilitator at uh, Rediscover Center. And I like building all kinds of things, including electronics, sewing, and of course, baking. Um, so I'm here with Barb and we are gonna be making some cool things today. Yeah, today what we're gonna be doing is we're both gonna be making the same project in a little bit different ways. Uh, I'm going to make, well, we're both gonna make uh, marble runs out of things that we have around the house and some uh, some fun tools like a, like a canary cutter, cardboard cutter and, um, and hot glue and tape and some other fun stuff. Um, now, as we said, we're from a place called Rediscover Center, which is a kids maker space and creative reuse center. And uh, we have, most of the time, we do a lot of programs in person with kids, teaching them how to use tools, how to make things, how to use recycled materials. Right now, obviously, not a lot of that happening, but we do have some online programs. We have these things called maker chats, which are free 20 minute check-ins with one of our facilitators. So we can like help, help you come up with ideas of things to make at home, help you figure out what tools you can use for it, what materials are good uh, and help you plan projects, whatever you need to, however we can help you in your making at home. Uh, we also have some classes that are happening, online series of classes. And then we're also signing up. Uh, we have signups right now for, um, for our summer camps, which are coming up. Hopefully some in person, but definitely some online uh, so that you can make things at home. All right. Cool. So so, yeah. Should we talk about our plans? Yeah, let's talk about our plans. We put a little bit of thought on um, what we're going to do before we got started, but we haven't started building anything yet. You want to go first? Sure. All right. So um, we're making marble runs and whenever we are building, you're kind of thinking about what you're going to be building on. Right. So um, I was thinking, yeah, I could build on the desk and that would be fun. But I also looked around my room and saw what things I have in here. And I do have a bicycle and the bicycle stands up on its own. So I thought I might use that as its sort of base and support. Um, so my plan is to make a series of ramps that run down the bicycle and then at the very end i'm going to use the pedal as a lever to deliver the marble into its end goal which will be just a cup now here's the question then jenna does this mean that when you're riding your bicycle around after this you're just going to be trailing marbles behind you everywhere I mean, you go in theory i could you're going to be really trailing like marbles <laughs> It, it could be like one of the um, <laughs> Mario Kart sort of bicycles. Like I'll just be like putting like little marbles to like trip oh, yeah. on the populace outside. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Real life Mario Kart. <laughs> so uh, so Jenna is going to build hers on um, on a bicycle, which is great. Which uh, she's probably not going to leave up there forever. She's going to have to take it off of off of her bike. It's really fun to add it onto. <laughs> some existing structure. I'm going to go a little bit different. At some point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to build it onto a piece of cardboard on my table. Um, so I'm planning on building my own supports that can hold it up. Um, I'm going to, uh, this is the plan anyway. We'll see how far I get on it, but I'm going to have like a, right. maybe three supports, some ramps going down here. This is a fork. I want to have it like pivot. Uh, this is a pinwheel. I'm hoping I can get to that. And then these are caps and it can kind of bounce off of them into a container at the bottom. So, so we have one hour and household items only, right? Yep. All right, cool. Yes. Shall we begin? Yes, we, have, we have 55 minutes now. Okay. So not even an hour. All right. Yeah. So my first element is going to be the series of ramps that go down the bike. So I'm going to get started on those. Okay. And I'm going to probably go with 
cardboard strips. <coughs> All right. I, I will get into cardboard strips myself, but what I'm going to start with um, is I'm going to start with those pillars, those upright pillars um, that Miss Jenna does not have to do. Nope. I'm going to move. Yeah, because I'm ahead of the game. Yeah, that's true. These are filthy. I'm going to cut this into thirds here. I'm going to make sure I don't cut my hands. Yeah, I'm using this cool canary cutter, this cardboard knife. I love these things. We love these at Rediscover. <laughs> it's like the, uh, what do you call it? Holy grail of tools. Like you can literally do anything with them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cut, cut. <laughs> It's kind of a race against the clock. <laughs> I'm most surprised at how um, you can get cardboard cutters like this online, but I'm most surprised at like how you can't get them like I don't know, Home Depot or something like that. Like they're just so handy. I know. Yeah. Why can't you get them there? That would be good. All right. I'm going to use a screwdriver. A little screwdriver, and I'm gonna make some grooves in some of these loops so that I can bend this really well. There's good, here's good, and then I can take this and I can bend it like that. And now, because triangles are really strong shapes, I have this support. Dur, dur, dur. Ah, I see where you're going there. I, mean, I, will. I actually think I'm gonna try. Oops. Rip this. I'm gonna try using my own triangular structure. I'm gonna use like a little. Ah, there we go. Zip. So my ramp is going to be a kind of uh, a V. Yeah. Gotcha. V. Yeah, that's gonna go down. I'm thinking about a V as well. I'm not sure if that direction is the right to go way to go with this tape. I'm gonna go this way on this now. Yeah. Okay. So I've got my first one. I want to attach this to my cardboard, so I'm gonna cut it and do like a flange with it. So let's go like this. And this. And then I can fold these guys. Fold, 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 fold. I'm going to have these in the right direction first, and then I'm going to put one long piece down the middle. Yes. There. How's that? That looks good. Ready ahead of time. See, I'm not sure exactly what angle I'm going to need this at, so maybe I'll hold off on actually attaching it. Okay. One pillar. I know that took four minutes. Oops. Mm -hmm. I got over to the other ripping. Hmm? I got over to the other and I keep ripping. Mm. I a mess. <laughs> I am all for a mess. Okay. Make all the messes. And just so, yeah, beautiful, nice. Oh, that yeah, that tape should make it nice and smooth, huh? Yeah, and then I don't have my mouth to tape at any point. Mm. All right, so I think actually I'm gonna have this one go here. So it's gonna oh, I start. Mm -hmm. How high does it start? Does it start like from the seat, from the handlebars? I think it's from the handlebars. So I'm going to go from, well, you can't. So I'm going to go from the handlebars here where I have my phone holder to the seat, from the seat down mm -hmm. to the seat above the front wheel, and then from mm -hmm. the front wheel down to the, um, to my pedals, right here. To the pedal, I gotcha. It's a little harder to hear you when you're back there. Yeah. 
Okay, just so as you know. Yeah. I have to move my pedals just a bit. There you go. All right. Luckily, I'm not going to be moving back here until I have all my components ready. Yeah. Okay. I have a second pillar. Two pillars. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Let's do a third one. The third one can be shorter. I think I'm going to let it be tall just in case I want that additional height. This is one of the things that I always find about doing marble runs is um, when folks are thinking about it, uh, it's like you think about the, the, the ramps, you think about the cool things that you want to add in there, um, but you don't always think about the supports. Um, if you're doing it on like a pegboard, then you don't have to worry about those as much. If you're doing it like you're just attaching it to a flat piece of cardboard or something like that, then you have to worry about it a little bit less. But that's, and that's, you're attaching it to a bike. Yeah, that's actually why I decided to start on the bike because mm -hmm. I was thinking about like how do I get that height? Mm -hmm. That's always the kicker, right? Like you have to yeah. get it as high as possible because you only have so much sort of energy <laughs> that you can create. Exactly. Yeah. That's potential energy, right? Yeah. Gravitational potential. Yeah. Wow. Three towers. There we go. Huh. It's the two towers. <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's see. What's next? Ramps, I think. I think I need more cardboard. Fortunately, we have just all the cardboard right now. Everybody's getting everything delivered. Right? <laughs> so there's no shortage. <laughs> Okay. It's like the one thing I'm guaranteed to know that my students have. Yep. Totally. I'm going to put a few in there so that it's going to bend up into a nice curve. Curve right. Ooh. Oh, that's your curve thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. So tell me, what kind of things have you been making at home? Um, so I've been working on some different projects for our video series. And one of the ones that's really taking up some time recently is I figured out um, how to do paper forts. So it's been raining and I thought like, oh, you know, it'd be fun. Like, let's do like a fort building activity. And as much as everyone has a bunch of cardboard laying around, we don't often have like the big cardboard, like, you know, the like washing machine boxes and stuff like that, that you might have for building some like serious cardboard forts. So yeah, I was trying to make alternative forts and I able to put on like newspaper forts. So you can use the, Rolled up paper, and because the paper is rolled, it's you know, fairly rigid. And you can use a series of sort of stronger structural elements like triangles and uh, make like a nice little fort that you can crawl into. So you can do teepees and teepee domes. And at one point, my entire apartment was completely covered. Like every spot where you could actually like put a person was covered in paper fort. <laughs> But, but you told uh, me about that and it sounds like so much fun <laughs> yeah and i like you know i i called my nieces and i was like hey guys look like i'm in a fort and i had like string lights yeah. everywhere and like my nice. sheets on top of it so yeah nice. i made myself like a pretty like pretty rocking little like paper fort that i was sort of crawling around like a little mouse in <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Here we go. I got a ramp. I just cut around the corner of one of the boxes around this bend. So it's like a really oh, nice street. Clever. Yeah, so I have okay. my ramp right here. Nice. Let's see. This is my second one. And I want this to go from here, I think. 
down to there, but I want this to stay at this angle. So I'm going to make myself a little triangle to hold it in place, which is one of the beautiful things about these. So you can just fold a little tiny triangle. Yeah. Bit. Blurp. Wait. I have Tell you something I've been making a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to hear. Breakfast. Oh, the Lord. I've been making coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much breakfast. I've been making coffee way more. So, you know, I've been like, oh, I've been making bread and I've been making all these beautiful like loaves of bread and I see all these like gorgeous loaves of bread on um, YouTube mm -hmm. and Facebook. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get in on this bread thing. I'm going to make some bread. <laughs> like, I'm handy. I know how to do bread. Like, bread doesn't scare me. I totally <laughs> messed up bread. I messed up bread. I messed up mayonnaise. Like, I keep on trying to make things from scratch and I just like, I, it's... Yeah, no, no. It turns out like bread is defeated me. <laughs> well, it takes practice. All these things take practice. Yeah. Right? Okay. I got my glue gun. It's super messy. I love it. All right. Let's okay. see. Okay, so I know I want this one here, so I'm actually going to glue this down so it's in one place. So my challenge here is going to be getting the marble from the top ramp down to the bottom ramp. Um, and I think I might do paper funnel, nice. uh, something that has like a large catching area, but like delivers into a small space. I like it. Uh, okay. Paper, paper, paper. Oh, you know what I have? What's up? Um, I have these like binder, like the binder separator. Oh, yeah. 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 These things are nice because they're like, like that plastic is sort of stiff, but not so much that. I can't manipulate it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think this will do. This will do just fine. Nice. Okay. Gluing this on, and that's gonna let me put this here at an angle, like that. Now I glued this, and so it's aimed back towards me, so it's hard for you to see you viewers at home and or Jenna. Uh, <laughs> see, I glued this little triangle on here so that this can rest on it and it'll stay like this. Cause if I just glued it onto the side, it would be flat and my marble would fall right out. All right. That's actually going to be a challenge with mine over here. I'm going to have to um, find some way of bracing up one side so that I have that nice V and it doesn't flop over. Yeah. I was thinking about, I mean, at first I was thinking about tape, but I'm afraid that that would make it so the marble couldn't go through. Right. Like this, like taping on one side and then on the other, and that will hold that shape. But let's try it. Yeah, marble got stuck. So it's right. too low. I have two ramps, one funnel. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try. Oh, and actually, the funnel delivers the ball kind of halfway down the ramp, which is good because I can take the back of the ramp and hold up into that V. Mm. Cool. Maybe if I go like this, I can get my funnel lined up properly. If I go like this. Will that stay? I don't know if that'll stay. It might. If I glue these on the outside, no, it'll still let it go that way unless, okay, I'm doing triangles. More triangles. You can never go wrong with more triangles. It's true. Triangles are the best. Yeah, I need a little bit of room for the bracket, the seat bracket. Okay. Yeah. Try not to hot glue my hands. All right, glue on this side, and then I have my little triangles because I want it to keep this bent shape. So I'm gonna make little braces here. Not like tooth braces. Okay, there's glue. 
And glue and a triangle. Bloop. How are we doing? It's 420. All right, we're about halfway through. Okay, so I have top ramp, bottom okay. ramp. I need one more ramp that's going to head down to the pedal. So nice. I need another piece of cardboard. You are farther ahead than me. That's okay. The beauty of using the bike is the support. I know, that's true. We're going to get through as much as we can get through. Yeah. I think to help this, to help me build a little faster, I'm going to use a little bit of tape here too. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's probably part of it too, is I've just been generously slathering duct tape all over my bike. Uh, it's like mayonnaise on a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> so what it does, then it gets a little bit wasteful, but you know. Okay, so that's going to keep this shape better. I'm not going to be spending the next week peeling all that off before I can yeah. move on with my life and do things like uh -huh. back to the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay, so this, if I glue this and maybe take this in place, see that? I pick that up the is on there. there. I think that's going to hold my V here. Okay, this is longer. Okay. So let's do. Okay. That's the beauty of this is there's so many ways to do it. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling it everywhere. That's actually one of the very nice things about building this onto a piece of cardboard is right. I don't have to worry about spilling on the table and then getting hot food. <laughs> When I started working from home, I built this desk by turning over one of my bookshelves. And it was still really pretty, right? Like the, the cover was all like, you know, the side of the bookshelf was all nicely like finished. And I was kept on to like trying to cover it with things or like, I was always super conscious about like putting down cups. And finally I was like, you know what? Like I just, I need something I can destroy. So I covered it with this giant piece of plywood. Yeah. That's always good. How do people do that with like their workbenches? Yeah. Right. You're doing mostly duct tape, huh? Mostly duct tape. Well, because I can't really glue onto the bike. If I glue that's true. The bike. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm doing mostly masking tape, but I think that works well with just like the cardboard. Not right. attaching to other materials. Hey, hey, check it out. Let me see. Ramp V. You ready for this? Ready for it. Sh Ooh, pretty. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I got this and I attach it to this thingy here. Hey, it works. Okay. I have my two V ramps, but I want them again to curve nicely down into the uh, into the pedal here. So I'm gonna do the curve again. I'm gonna start putting some notches in these. Okay. Okay. Angle here. Yeah, that looks good. Get the work. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Ah! I might actually it's, falling it's falling over. This is one of the problems with the one hour time limit is glue takes time to dry. Right. <sighs> if it's not so, well, this one's a one temperature, but if it's not super, um, like it's something that doesn't need like a whole lot of force to hold it in place. Yeah. Sometimes I'll turn my glue gun down to low temp just mm -hmm. to make it dry faster. Uh, Not because I want it to be like safe or anything, but just like I just need you to dry quicker. <laughs> nice. Okay. This is looking good. I think I want it to go here. I'm going to do, oh, you know what I'm going to do instead of a triangle for this one? I'm just going to do 
like a little L brace, except it won't quite be an L. I'm just going to take this little piece and I've got the fluke on the short end so I can bend it like that. And then I can put it here and here and it'll just keep them in place because I've got my angle pretty well supported over here at this end. Okay. All right, glue. Don't glue my fingers, please. Okay. Don't glue my fingers, please. Oh, wait, do I want to go this way? Shoot, I should have thought about that. No, this way. Don't glue my fingers, please. Oh, wait, I can't sing. There we go. Lovely. Oh look, we have a comment. Jonathan is uh, in the in the chat. Yeah, hi Jonathan. <laughs> we have four viewers. Hi everybody. Here we go. Yes, two ends. Okay, so this is the kicker. I want to make a um, like little teeter totter that's going to drop my uh, marbles into a cup with my Ooh. pep. So I need to make like a little box or something that's gonna hold them. Because if I just drop marbles onto a petal, it's just gonna fall through, so. True, do you have any cap? Oh. Like this kind of um, I have a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm not right. making one out of cardboard. I do have. Let's see. I need to cut this. Uh, so that's too, too tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do this. I made this ramp too long. Yeah. Kind of on purpose. I can just do that. And actually, you know, an origami one. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I think I'll be Ooh. fast at trying to put together. You say you're gonna do origami? Yeah. Yes. I learned how to make an origami box on Lamb Chop's play along when I was five, <laughs> and it has been the most useful piece of information I have ever acquired <laughs> in my lifetime. <laughs> Boxes are super handy. Oh my gosh. Being able to make a box. All right. So here's what I'm doing with this. I want to curve this around this support. So I cut my ramp so that it would tilt down. Oh, nice. Take this, and then I think I'm going to do the same thing like here. And then I'm going to have to make a new ramp because this one's about, <laughs> about out. I'll go, yeah, I don't even have to cut, like I cut out a little piece here. I don't think I even have to. If I just go like this, this flat folds down. Ooh. Will this work as, oh yeah, there we go. That's what I want right there. So the idea is marble falls into the box on one side mm -hmm. and then it will roll to the other side, overbalance the entire pedal, and then the whole thing will flip down. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hopefully. Although once it gets to about this point, then um, it might stick. So we'll have to mm -hmm. see. That's kind of similar to what I want to do with my fork. Yeah. Lots of ways of doing a similar thing. So I'm going to take a look at how this ramp fits onto the bike. Okay, here. so this is good. Cool. Is okay. Right Need another ramp. I'm actually going to have to move the computer soon. So, ah, so that you're closer? So that I'm closer. Here That's we go. Good. Then we'll be able to hear you better, too, when you're over there. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna down there. This. Nice. So now I'm getting down to the bike. Totally can't hear you. 
Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you have to drop a bike in your living room. <laughs> okay. Now, since I've got the flutes the long way, I can really easily fold this. Actually, I'm going to do this. I can really, really easily fold it into a ramp. Boom. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, totally. Oh, nice. Now we can see it better, too. Nice. All right. So here's what we need to do right here is I'm going to attach this to this ramp down here, and then it's going to go down into the pedal right there. Okay. I'm going to test this real fast. If I attach it here, I'm going to need to make a hole here for the marble to drop through. Ah, this kind of almost works. <laughs> Kind of almost is pretty good. <laughs> it's going to need another support over on the other side, but that's okay. I can do that. And I didn't even lose my marble. Yeah, lose your marble for bar. I know. I can't. I'm not going to lose my marbles. I've got them saved in a cute little jar. <laughs> you have to go to excessive, extreme lengths to not lose your marbles, especially right now. Right. <laughs> Prime marble losing territory out here. I know. Oh, so actually, now that I'm down the ground, this is another thing I've been working on. Ooh, what is it? So it's a hippo car. Yes. It's a self-propelled hippo car. BTW. Yes. It has it has a rubber band in the bottom so that you can <laughs> roll it back. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. Look, look at That's this little cool. <laughs> Oh, can we see it running? Uh, here, I have to roll it up. I know I'm taking time out of our marble run building, but I feel like marble running it. time so that you can see a rolling hippo that might not even work on its first try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those are the best when they don't work. Okay, like this. Okay. Glue this thing down. There's my thumb. Yeah. On the ground here. Okay. That was interesting. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, he got stuck. Oh, I see. His little uh, wheels are pushed in. Mm. Yeah. Cardboard wheels are tricky to do. Cardboard wheels are super tricky because they don't, you know, you you put a lot of force on wheels. So the more mm. Floppy your material, the harder it is to. No, oh, I rolled him backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's the backwards hippo. It's the retreating it's hippo card. Backwards my hippo. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I think we made a hyperspace hippo last oh, summer or the summer before. Why didn't I not call him hyperspace hippo? You should I totally call him hyperspace hippo. Yeah, you can even I decorate them and make them look like hyperspace, make them galaxy. I completely missed an opportunity there. Well, does he have a name? He doesn't have a name yet. Yeah, I think he. Well, he there you go. Hyperspace Hippo. Yeah. Okay. So. Pedal. Introducing, folks. Hyperspace Hippo. And the pedal box there. You know what I'm going to do here for time's sake? I'm going to add. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right into there. Because mm -hmm. time is a factor. It is 435. We have 25 minutes. <laughs> this is the thing, folks. We don't really know for certain that we'll be able to get this done in an hour. Right. So it's a or challenge. Then if it'll work. That's the kicker. Whenever I do things like marble runs or mm -hmm. Uh, Rib Goldberg machines with students. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, you know, you kind of have to warn them ahead of time, like, guys, anything with more than one step, yeah. Every single one of those steps has to work in order for this whole thing to work. Mm -hmm. And just because one of the steps didn't work, and ultimately that means the whole thing doesn't work, doesn't mean that it's a complete and utter failure. Right. <laughs> Lots of good decisions on the way. Yeah. All right. Any more triangles? Little tiny ones this time. 
Where do I want my little tiny triangles? Right there. I've already I've already encountered a problem here. Uh oh, what's that? One of my ramps is too steep up here, so I don't have enough force for that marble to get up. So if you look, this ramp goes down and then up again. Oh. oh. Force for it to make it back to the top of this curve before mm -hmm. it drops into there. So I'm either going to have to change the angle mm -hmm. or just loosen this a little bit. Mm. What are you thinking? Um. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try adjusting it on the seat first. Because if I don't have to change the shape of this, that would be best. That'll be quicker because we're on a time. Yeah, time limit. Okay. Try it now. I hope that this is gonna work. This is the trick with go. something like this. Oh, here we go. That you got a lot of detailed parts that take some time to make them happen. Oh, I just found the disadvantage using duct tape. What's that? I keep on getting stuck on the duct tape like flypaper. Uh, true. Can you put paper over it? Yeah, I just have to find all the sticking points. Like if you just like put like a thing of paper on top of it, then it should you know, it can roll on the paper. And I hope your paper's not sticky. I would have Come questioned on. if your paper was sticky. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do this. I believe in your abilities. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I like the thing. I like that it's got, like, the ramp that goes up again. It's kind of like a half loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah. All right, let's see if this works before I... Physics is going to work against me here. Oh, no. That way. Okay. It, it fits. All right. I'm gluing this in. Put some toilet paper rolls down there to try to keep my bike in place. Oh, no. I have a breach of the security. No. Oh. <laughs> warning. Warning. Breach of security. The first roll of the marble, the marble goes right out of the top ramp and into the paper bucket. <laughs> I passes everything else. Done. Like marble run finished. <laughs> marble run done. <laughs> there we go. This works. <laughs> I didn't have it have it tilted where um, one it. wrap. Perfect. Okay. okay, here we go. Now I need to cut this yeah. just a little bit so that my marble can drop out of this ramp and down into the lower ramp. Mm. Uh, see, okay, this is, this is one of the things that I always forget. Is sometimes it's easier to pull a piece of tape and like stick it on the edge of a table and just have it ready for when you only have one hand free. There we go. Okay. Let's catch that again. Uh-oh. No. Okay. We got as far as the, the bucket, but it's not tilting the way I was hoping it would. Mm. I think maybe it needs some more weight so that it's just at the tilt point when the marble comes in. Mm -hmm. So I need something that I can weigh a pedal with. Mm -hmm. Um. What do I have in here? Do you have here you go. lock of wood? What do you got? I got I got this Gold little box that creepily looks like it has a little face on it. <laughs> That's excellent. I'm into um, this is actually part of my IKEA furniture. I Ooh. bought one of those um like the pine, you know, the drawer sets that has like the oh. four little feet. Yeah. And I decided that I don't want the four little feet because I live in such a small space. Mm -hmm. Everything in my apartment either folds up or rolls away or, you know, something like it has to move in order for me to use the space for something else. 
Mm-hmm. My dresser's actually on wheels. And then every time I clean or I have company over or something like that, my dresser rolls into the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have all these pieces of wood left over from the things that were supposed to be part of the Ikea furniture. Nice. All right, I have to get this back over to this support. Super close. Maybe just like one, like just one other thing. Maybe if I put like two marbles in there already. Oh yeah. Not even, not even two. Just one. Back to here. One marble in there. It is 4:40. Perfect. Okay. Twenty minutes. Oh my god! Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get all my stuff done. Huh. So I have just the one marble inside this box already. Uh -huh. And oh, come on, stay there. I just have to set it just so. Oops. Drop this in, and it doesn't move this time because people are watching, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Anytime somebody's watching. There we go. And it tilts. So I just needed to tilt enough to drop the marble out. So I'm going to put a little hole right here at the end of this box to let it out. Nice. Barb, I'm killing you for once. Yeah. How is this? You're doing the, great. The reigning champion. Well, you know what it is? It was the bike idea. I was going to do kind of like how you're doing with the, uh, well, watch this all fall apart and I'm going to talk too soon. <laughs> I mean, this isn't really so much a, I mean, is it a competition? Not, not particularly really. Yeah. I know you can have bragging rights though, if you want. Yeah. I do love bragging rights. They're my favorite type of rights. <laughs> I know I've played Settlers of Catan with you. <laughs> I'm the cheap Lord. <laughs> Just so you know, y'all know. There we go. Perfect. We'll try to yeah. play Settlers of Catan with Jenna because she will wipe the floor with you. <laughs> and she will be very excited about it. <laughs> Unless you're really good at Settlers of Catan, in which case, go for it. Do you play competitively, though, like Settlers? Yeah, that's the whole point. No, no, I mean, like, with friends. Like, I feel like you have pra like you practice it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, as you know, but many of the viewers probably don't, I come from, like, this tiny, tiny little town, like, teeny, tiny village, and um, there's not a heck of a lot to do there, which means that we play Settlers of Catan, like, lives depend on it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, every weekend. <laughs> All right, here we go. Top to bottom. Okay, that's it. Okay. Wow, look at yours. Yours is... one got another and it doesn't go out did it go out it went out i just don't know where it went after that <laughs> yeah it escaped and i don't i don't know where <laughs> i'm gonna put a can at the bottom so i can actually hear it when it escapes this time. that's a good idea that's a go. good idea. okay i did one once um i did a marble run once that was made out of skewers and then i put like one of those little ding bells at the bottom so i just called it a uh, in fact i have a video about it but like i just called it a bell ringer a very complicated bell ringer oh there you go yeah. okay now i'm having some issues with the amount of momentum i have here because it's going down one round and then off into the void okay that oh. i can't have you going off into the void because then you don't your ultimate goal which is to get into a can what if its goal is to go to the void i know that's the problem Are you gonna the marble? Deny it its goal the marble its ultimate goal in life life non-compatible goals there we go down the funnel and into the void okay I'm going to have to put an extra piece of cardboard right here to keep it from flying off into the void. That sounds uh -huh. <laughs> into the void. <laughs> I like it. Here we go. Perfect. Right. Okay. I made another little triangle thing for a support here. 
because I don't want to actually have a beer in that spot. Let's see if this is a good height. I think I can yep. actually glue that in pretty easily. This is a good height. So I'm gonna just have to get my glue gun close enough. Are you gluing something? I'm gonna try to glue something down here. This is the first time you've glued. Is this the first time you've glued something? Today? No, I have to put a little bit of glue right here. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, you know what I can do? I can I mark this. So I don't know where to put glue. There. Right. I have glue everywhere. Right there. All right, that's my glue line. That's where I need to put the glue. Now what, what's really fun, like, did I tell you that like every year when we do summer camp, like we have all these different themes, right? Right. Um, and every summer I try to do at least one week of Rube Goldberg machine. Oh yeah, we did one. Um, it was like, a, was it summer camp or winter break? I did one, and uh, I only had it was a camp where I only had a handful of kids. I think it was like four kids. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, you know what it was? I remember now. It was during the summer. teacher strike. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I remember it was kind of a funny circumstance. I only had a handful of kids because we didn't know that we were going to be doing camp. Mm -hmm. It was a surprise camp. Surprise camp. Surprise camp. And we made this Rube Goldberg machine that went all the way from the ceiling to the floor. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. These kids, like, they worked really hard on it, too. I was, I was surprised. Yeah. Oh, one summer we had uh, the older group and the regular group uh, at the same time, the, uh, the teen tinkering then called the masters um and they were in the front and we were in the back and so we started a mar we started a uh, Rube goldberg machine in the front room and it made its way all the way to the back so it was like a whole building Rube goldberg machine that's awesome it was pretty great it was pretty, it was pretty wonderful how many times did you get it to work oh goodness i don't know if we ever got it to work all together at all but it was fun. <laughs> I think this needed to be higher. I'm going to try. So here's, here's my next thing that I want to do. And it's entirely possible that this is going to be the end of mine. But okay. The I would be okay with that is I want to do the fork. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I need to make it pivot like this. So I need Skimmer to find and straw maybe. Well, I could do that. Uh, I'm kind of like, rocking the cardboard right now mm. so what i was thinking i could do a straw i could do a straw that would be quicker um there's another way of doing like that same kind of thing though yeah i'll do i'll do a straw a little tiny piece of straw i'm still having the issue where this is just a little too tall but the other way that because i want to i want to show everybody the other way of doing it you can take like a little piece like this and then just kind of bend it into another little triangle ah and then you put your stick through that and it turns right and if you need it to be rounder you can you know make it even rounder it's it basically a cardboard straw basically a cardboard straw yeah so if you don't have a straw that's yeah. what i um I actually didn't know that I had a pack of straws I had I had one inside my car that I didn't know was there and so for the first whole week of me being home, I was making straws out of everything and anything. <laughs> um, so just like post-it notes and, you know, yeah, um, like pieces of fabric. And I just like, I found out that like pretty much anything, if you roll it into enough layers, you can make a tube and it will yeah. be sufficient. <laughs> Have you ever used um, Twizzlers as a straw? Yes, yeah. Um, for my 30th birthday party, we had a massive blowout party and um, the like number one request was that all the straws at this party be Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Cause you know, I'm celebrating like my adult life and you know, Twizzlers, Twizzlers. is an important part of that. 
Twizzlers, yes. I agree. Okay, yeah, this is freaking good. That's important. How's that going? It doesn't it's... want to escape the box. Mm. Okay, I have to let this dry. I can't be impatient with it. It has to dry well. So while that's happening, because I know the marble is not going to stay on the straw, I'm going to make some sides to it. Yes, got it. Okay. Or I don't need to do sides. I could do a cap. Why don't I just do a bottle or a cap like this? This might work. Let me see. I put this here. Oh, right. Yeah. Just something big enough to, to hold the load. To catch it. Yeah. I'm not 100% certain if this will catch it. But I could try it. I'm going to actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, um, because it's going to have to get out of this thing again, too. No, it should be able to, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of banking on the momentum of the marble hitting this box mm -hmm. to actually overcome the little ridge here. There's like a tiny wee ridge at the end of that box mm -hmm. uh, that it needs to get over in order to get into the can. So I'm sort of banking on that momentum to get it over that ridge. Okay. This is like the last part, and it's the hardest part because it's like moving. Okay, so it goes down the uh, ramp. Okay, we have uh, eight minutes according to my clock. Okay, keep eight someone... minutes left. Oh, eight minutes. Eek. <laughs> eek, eek, eek. I know, okay. not a lot of time. An hour is not a lot of time. So it keeps on wanting to go into the corner. So I'm just gonna let it go into the corner. I'm just gonna cut this down to the corner. Okay. And that's I'm a good gonna, idea. Yeah. Except in my heart, that's going to be the exit point for this. It wants to go to the void. It wants to go into the void. So I'm going to let it. Often this skewer through here. And I'm not actually going to cut it. I'm just going to let it be. And I'm going to hope that if I put a couple of marbles kind of in the middle here, that just the tiniest bit of Ooh, uh, change in this, like, Balance is going to drop all three into that can. Mm. Let's see. Right. Going down the ramp. Ta-da! Yes. Nice. I just got to move this over just a tad, and I think we got it. Excellent. Yeah. The marbles rolled, so if I can get those to roll to the far side, now I have all this white suddenly shifting down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Here's my plan because now all of a sudden this end is so much heavier and I need to be able to have enough weight on this end. I figure if it balances here in the middle, I add a cap to this end and that ends heavier. If I add a cap to this end. Right. Then they should be even. They should be even. Right. That should be good, hopefully. And if it's not, I can put or if, it, if I need it to go further down, because I think this end needs to be a little, little bit heavier to keep yeah. that in just the right place, then this should work, and I can put something in this cap. Right. Or you can move, well, you've already glued the straw, but you could move the straw back and forth just a tad to change the balance of uh, the center of balance. True. Oh, what if I just put a second straw? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, and then you can adjust it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let that cool. And while that cools, I'm going to make a tiny little hole. Cool. All right. I think I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Five yeah, minutes. I think I got it. Five minutes to spare. Anything fun you want to do with it? Um, let's see here. Well, I do want to see if I can get the camera to a place where I can see the whole thing Ooh, go yeah. down from the top to bottom. I like that. That's a good idea. I'm going to move the camera up onto the table, okay. and then it should be looking down onto the bike. Yeah, yeah. We need some good footage of that yeah. uh, of that rolling. Literally rolling. Stack up some chemistry textbooks. <laughs> okay. Chemistry. Cool. Yeah, I do need more weight on this end because it's higher. Ooh, check that out. Okay, if I could just get. Okay, I am curious. Is this gonna work? I'm not that lucky. Is this gonna work? No, that's okay. Okay, I think I have it. 
I'm very, very close. Okay. Let's I can just hold it exactly here. We're good. <laughs> okay. I got it. We got to see it. Okay. Let me oh, get my marble. I have to set these up. Just, oh, I'm actually going to set you down for a second while I adjust my marbles. Well, I, yeah. That's just in my phrase. I, need to I was going to say, I love, I love that we're, this is our phrase is. We can, we're losing our marbles and adjusting our marbles and yeah like that's what i use with my my students it's not quite like i'm losing my marbles it's just like guys this just needs to adjust her marbles for a second <laughs> <laughs> okay all right i need this to keep this angle so i'm gonna do right. can i give it a shot yeah. yes all right i'm gonna put it in right up here by the handlebars. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. Woo! Nice. Down the entire bike. Yeah. You get bragging rights. Woohoo! Bragging rights. <laughs> I think I think this means that you're gonna have to make me a trophy. I have to make you a trophy. Yep, yep, that's what bragging rights entail. Can it be a marble run? Yeah. Can it be a marble run trophy? Maybe I'll spray it gold. Okay, yes. Totally I'll just give you that. the spray gold. <laughs> I have three minutes. All right. Come on, Bart. Come on, Bart. You can do it. Come on, Bart. Come yeah. on. Here, wait. Let me angle it down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. okay. I am making this little boxy corner thingy. This is the problem is 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 I'm doing glue on everything. You gotta believe in the power of duct tape. I know. It has a light side and a dark side. It holds the universe, the universe together. together. I know. Oh man. No. Okay. Okay. I got tape. I'm using masking tape. Just oh, also during one of these, I need to show you my collection of amazing duct tapes. Because I have Ooh. a bunch of ones. I have like nice. universe. Actually, I'm going to go get them down. <laughs> uh, I was going to say we could save that for another one because this is like the plan is for this to be ongoing. Yes. For us to do more. Of okay, these well, I'll, I'll take you guys on like the tour of my duct tape collection because it's out of this world. <laughs> okay, I'm testing this. Here we go. Okay, that'll keep it in place. So I just need to attach you onto the bottom of this, which, yes, I'm going to use hot glue, but I will use tape as well. Eh. Here, take it off. Attach that there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Okay, I'm attaching this here. All right, Jenna. I'm watching. Duct tape. Yes. Yes. I'm doing, I'm Come doing to the duct tape. Bar. For this one particular thing, duct tape. I don't want people to think that I am anti duct tape. I'm definitely not anti duct tape. It's true. Duct tape has its place. And yeah. in cardboard, it's actually not as useful as you think it would be. Yeah. Because it does peel off. Like eventually, it's going to give. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Can you see that? I see it. It looks good. Okay. Let's try this because I've got zero minutes left. All right. Let me put my little washer here on the end so that it stays. Okay. Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm waiting. Ready. Here we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so close. Okay. 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 No, it'll, it'll work. I just have to... <laughs> Lose this part, this little part. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one more try, Barb. One more try. Okay. We're going a smidge over five o'clock, but that's okay. Okay. There. All right. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with yellow. Okay. Are we good? Can you see everything? No, here, now you can. Yeah? Right there. Yep, that's perfect. Here we go. 
do, do, do. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but close I enough. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try it again here. There. Oh, well, it tilted this. It still needs a. Ah! Oh, actually, that was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to like make some more changes to this because that could be really entertaining. Just going all the way down like that. If there's one right here. Oh, yeah, like this. Ah, there you go. And then it knocks. Oh, no, catch it, catch it. Yeah! yeah! Oh, my gosh! Did you see it? And so you you got it into one, and then when you dropped when it dropped out, the other one dropped out. It became like a catapult. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so blue marble is my catapult marble. All right, can you see everything here? Okay. Uh, back yeah. to where it was. Let's go there. Let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, I can get a good view of the catapult marble. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, come on, one more. Here, it needs to be angled right here. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's enough of a success for me, I think. <laughs> for one hour, I'm 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 pleased. I'm pleased with that success for one hour of work. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for uh, for joining us for this, our first of the Dueling Makers. Dueling Makers! Do you still have I'm there. You got ahead of me. Dueling Makers! All right. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Hopefully next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thanks enough.